A lot of people joke around and they ask if I ever wear a shirt anymore, but this is proof I do wear shirts even when I'm at home. Even if it's just half wearing a shirt, I'm still wearing a shirt. <laughs> Comparing two months post-op to one month post-op, it is drastically different. And it's drastically different in a lot of really, really great ways. I'm first gonna talk about the most common question that I get, and that is where my pain level is at. And my pain level is definitely a lot better than what it was during my first month being post-op. There's definitely still some pain there, but it more so feels like my chest is just bruised and it, it probably is i mean i just had surgery and it got cut open and so things are just a little bit irritated the most amount of pain that i feel i would say is in the morning when i first wake up it's because i'm laying on my chest at night and i can do that now so it feels really great and once i was able to do that i jumped on it because i am a stomach sleeper and I like to sleep on my stomach and I have not been sleeping well on my back. So I was eager and ready to just be able to sleep for once and it's been helping. But with that said, because I lay on my chest throughout the night when I wake up, there's usually some pain that I can definitely experience right away. And sometimes I wake up from it because there's just so much pressure on my chest. And then, you know, if I like lift my arms back, if I stretch them back too far, there's some tightness on my incisions and you can feel tightness around my nipples. But that's another weird thing though. Sometimes I can't really pinpoint where the pain is coming from because there's still some numbness on my chest and my nerves are probably waking up and freaking out and wondering what is going on. But for the most part, the pain is substantially better than what it was before. And I, it's been really nice because each week, literally each week, it gets better and it kind of you just kind of get used to your chest being in pain and i know that sounds awful to say but you do kind of get used to it but then as the weeks pass by it gets easier and the pain goes down and so you just kind of build up like this tolerance to it and you just kind of truck through your weeks and knowing that a month from now i'm going to be feeling a lot different than what i am feeling right now even the next thing I'm going to talk about are my scars and what I'm doing for my scar treatment. And yes, I get to say I am officially doing scar treatment now because if you watch the first month being post-op video, I had some issues with starting the scar treatment where basically every single time I started it, it would bleed and it happened twice and it was just frustrating and so I had to only use Neosporin on my incisions for pretty much the entire month plus a couple weeks or so. But then I started being able to just do vitamin E oil on my incisions. But for about a week now, I have been using the scar guard treatment and it's been going really well. There hasn't been any issues with bleeding and I'm very happy about that because I was getting antsy waiting to start the treatments because I scar very easily. But yeah, I use it as recommended on the bottle. I apply it twice a day and then at night before I take a shower, I take the scar card off and then I take a shower, wash my chest really good and the rest of my body really good. And then I apply vitamin E oil on it when I get out of the shower. And then on my chest and over my nipples, I use coconut oil and that has been going really nice. And my skin finally feels like skin again, because for a while it was just so raw and irritated and it just, it hurt to even, not hurt, but it was just like an irritated feeling when you even just rubbed your hand across the chest. And so wearing shirts isn't always the most fun. A lot of people joke around and they ask if I ever wear a shirt anymore, but this is proof I do wear shirts even when I'm at home. Even if it's just half wearing a shirt, I'm still wearing a shirt. But there's a lot of irritation though. Like I was saying before, there's a lot of irritation. So it feels nice to not wear a shirt all the time.
But ironically speaking, now I'm going to be taking off my shirt to show you guys my chest. So stay tuned. So this is what my chest looks like two months post-op and I'm really satisfied with the overall results. And I'm starting to be able to lift my arms this high without feeling any tightness happening. The video on the left hand side is one month post-op and the video on the right is what my chest currently looks like. So there's a lot of differences and a lot of changes. And here's a close up of the nips and you can see how how different they look. The color is completely changed. They're, they're healed over and they're looking really, really good. My left nipple is definitely more popped than the other one. And I'm trying to get a close up of it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But basically the center is more raised out and it's, it's popped out like a nipple would be. Whereas the right side nipple is more, not like necessarily concaved, but it's not perking out as much as the left is. My incisions are definitely evening out a little bit more and the swelling has gone down on my chest. But there is still a little bit of bumpiness on my incisions. And here is a final comparison between one month versus two months post-op. So yeah, that's how my chest is looking and that's how things are healing up. And I am just so incredibly happy with the outcome and the results of my chest. And I'm, I'm just so thankful that I can be uh, sitting here feeling comfortable uh, with a shirt on or off and it's just I feel at ease in my body. I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful for some folks, especially if you are embarking on a top surgery journey uh, Just know that there's a lot of support out there and there's a lot of videos like this And this is why we make these videos because we want to share our experiences and our stories with others But thank you all so much for watching and if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up And you can also share it and you can subscribe to my channel as well I will do a video soon, but until then, I hope you all have a safe and wonderful few days ahead. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.